we tend to think of word entangled in boundaries which we know as borders or we divide these boundaries in seven parts called continents but if we look closely enough we can part these in term of temperature middle east being the hottest and europe being the coldest and other continents falling in between regarding the intensity of temperature countries like switzerland sweden and norway are one of the wealthiest countries in the world and all of them are situated in europe and poor countries like sudan chad and mozambique are in africa it is just a coincidence or does temperature actually play a role in wealth of a country so it turn out that there is a negative relation between temperature and gdp according to an estimate done through linear regression one degree increase in temperature result in 762 dollar fall in gdp per capita one thing that statisticians use in the r square value what r square value factor does is basically determine the effect on variable for example the relation of height and weight is 0.5 this mean that 50% of a person body mass is determined by height and other 50% by other factors including body mass exercise etc and this r square value for gdp and temperature is 0.09 This mean that temperature has only 9% effect on GDP. One might think that this is merely 9%, but the other 91% include many factors like natural resources and government stability. To really understand its phenomena, we dive into past. During the Middle Ages, our ancestors used to stay where there was enough sunlight and fertile land to grow crops in order to survive. Historically, civilization was centered on warm tropics and subtropics, but when population started to rise, people began to settle in cold countries as well. Since cold weather is not very suitable for agriculture, these countries started industrialization. People had to stock food for upcoming harsh weather, which gave a boost to economy. individuals were more cooperative because they knew that they would not exist without coexisting meanwhile population in tropics were thriving and resources were scarce one more thing worth mentioning is that most of the countries in middle east have waged direct or proxy wars on each other there are some exceptions so in this including countries like qatar and dubai that are in middle east but they are rich in resources and export oil and gases all around the world or continent like antarctica where there is no population please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video thank you